Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a good day wherever you are or whatever you're doing. Uh, hope you're all keeping safe with all that's going on at the minute. Uh, you can see we are travelling on the road at the minute, just it's a time lapse video heading out. Uh, we're going to spray, uh, do a little bit of spraying today, we're going to spray the winter barley crop that's in town, the 12 acre field. So uh, yeah, when I get out there I'll do a video of setting up and of uh, yeah, go through then what we're spraying for and try and get a wee bit of footage of all that going on. So stay tuned! So time lapse is finished and we are now in the field, uh, just to get everything set up. Uh, I always use the GPS just in case for some reason that I had to, if something happened I had to stop, I can save my position on it. So just use it for that, even though we have the tram lines to walk off. Uh, I'll set the pressure on that in a second, uh, but we'll fold out the sprayer now and get that done. Uh, I had to replace one of the nozzles, which uh, is the first really parts of the sprayer that we've had to do any any maintenance to. Uh, it's a 2016 model this sprayer, or is it 2015? I have to think for a second. But uh, yeah, it's around 2015, 2016. Um, yeah, so we've had, we didn't have to do much maintenance to it. Or, uh, nothing really went wrong with it as of yet. Uh, we'll just set our height roughly around there. We can adjust it up a little bit if we need to. Uh, we we'll keep it fairly low as uh, this field is quite windy and uh, it just means uh, it just means that and we set the pressure here uh, it just means that uh, if we keep it low we may not have just as much drift on the spray and uh, we'll set our revs up at the walking uh, which is there uh, and we'll adjust we want to have we want the spray walking around 2.2 2.3 bar which is roughly around there so we're not too bad on that we can adjust that also once we get going so yeah let's get let's get moving and we'll try and get a little bit of spring on So we are now doing the up and downs through the field. Uh, you've seen the speeded up uh, part just when we're going around the headlands and we're making nice progress. It doesn't take that long. One spray of full will uh, do this whole field. So uh, yeah, it's, it's an easy enough trip out and uh, you have the whole field done in about 15 minutes. Um, conditions once again is, is, is very good. We're having fantastic weather at the minute. Uh, which is a shame, well, it's a shame that we, uh, well, I'm not too bad, I'm still walking away more or less as normal, but for a lot of people, they can't get out to enjoy it, and it has, it's very frustrating, it has to be frustrating uh, to be maybe locked up in the house, uh, keeping your social distance and uh, being isolated uh, with everything that's, that's happening with the coronavirus, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's strange that since this, pandemic has started to take place over the last number of weeks uh, the weather has really picked up and uh, like we had storm after storm in the whole way right through February uh, rain in more or less every day and now we have this great 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 weather and we can't get out to enjoy it so 
yeah, it's kind of ironic when you when you see it like that. Um, don't know whether you've seen the last video or not. I put up a uh, put up a video yesterday of uh, a very nice pack that was sent out to me by the guys at Easy Fix. The they do the the animal comfort, uh, all the rubber matting and all that kind of stuff for. Oh, they do it for all for cattle and horses and pigs and. Uh, cubicle houses with dairy cows all that kind of stuff so they're, they're kind of big in that in that end of stuff but uh, I, I thought that they are, their campaign that they're trying to, to get going was was very good uh, and I, if you haven't seen the, the last video maybe just think about if you're on Instagram or Facebook or any of those things uh, post a video just if you're doing something over the last couple of days or the last week or even if you're doing something today uh, the day that you're watching this video um, take a picture of something to do with farming and post it and uh, use the hashtag we are still farming it's it's just kind of promoting the whole promoting the fact that farmers are still farming away uh, even though with everything that's going on and we're going to continue to to feed and uh, feed people uh, produce the food uh, and farm away then uh, for the for the rest of the coming year and to, to feed well on into this whole pandemic and how long it's going to last because it is going to last for a while it's not going to be it's not going to be all sorted in a, in a few weeks so. So that's us finished in this field now for this evening. Just going to head home and I'll fill the sprayer up and get ready for spraying the, the rest of the winter crop tomorrow. Uh, I'm also just going to set up the camera maybe and take a little bit of footage as I am driving uh, back home the road. So um, yeah, I'll set the camera up so uh, maybe some of you don't, some, some people like to see the, the bit of footage driving home, uh, some don't. So. Uh, if you're not interested in the fun of driving home, you can switch off now. Uh, if not, uh, yeah, keep watching and enjoy the footage. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit the sub button. If you're not already a subscriber, uh, leave a like on the, the video. Uh, and of course, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Um, and don't forget to share uh, your, your pictures. Share your pictures on Instagram and Facebook and uh, tag me and hashtag uh, we are still farming so get out there get sharing and uh, promote our fantastic job that we have to keep doing uh, pandemic or no pandemic uh, so that's it see you tomorrow <laughs>